start with Todd Duckmany. Well, Coach, despite the rough shooting night and the, and the turnovers, you gave yourself a chance to win the ball game. You cut it to two late, and then Jimmy Butler took over and scored 10 of the last 16 points. But again, you gave yourself a chance. Yeah, we played hard, but we just offensively uh, just could never really get anything going. We, we did pretty well against their second unit. I thought our second unit against their second unit scored, got us back in the game, and then when Eric went back to – his main guys, we, we just couldn't, uh, we couldn't get anything done to finish it out. Yeah, you let my next question, Coach, you had to be pleased with the second guys coming in. They don't play a whole lot together, and they were able to get it done with Nikhil and, and Nico Jackson. Yeah. He really gave you a spark. I, I thought our second unit outplayed their second unit, so um, that's what got us a chance to get back in the game. Um, I thought especially in the second half, they played really, really well. Um, we just didn't play well enough against their, uh, you know, against the Jimmy Butler, uh, Goran Dragic, their closing lineup we just, we struggled with. Um, went back with our veterans against their veterans and, in you know, plus the young guys had been out there a while. We thought they were a little tired and it just didn't work out for us. Uh, Stan, with, with the outside shooting in this game, did, I mean, did you think you guys got quality shots or was it more a matter of the types of shots you generate? A little of both, but but we certainly had. I would say that uh, Christian, we had shots that were far above uh, twenty five percent quality. Um, you know, did did I think like every shot we got was good? No, we certainly had had some tough ones. I thought when we moved the ball and played inside out, I, I thought you know the majority of our threes were pretty good looks that we didn't make. I, I thought we forced some shots particularly early in the game in the paint, forced some shots and forced some plays in the paint. Um, but I thought after that we moved the ball pretty well and we had some decent looks. Um, you know, but I'll watch it on the film and see more. Yeah, you mentioned the second year. What did you think about the minutes uh, Nikhil and Kyra played together? What did you think uh, just from that back what was out there? Yeah, I mean, second half was good and, and Kyra was, you know, one of the few guys who actually shot the ball well, though he only was one for four from three, but he made some shots. I thought Nikhil played well. You know, he just, you know, he took a lot of tough shots in the paint. I thought he adjusted well in the second half uh, and made some plays. But, you know, I mean, our, uh, you know, he was four for 14. And, you know, we just, guys played well and just we had trouble getting the ball in the basket. Yeah, and just uh, taking a big picture look, just where do you see uh, the guys are right now halfway through the season, where they're halfway marked? Just how do you assess what the team has done up to this point? Well, I mean, I've always been, uh, I've always been a pretty big believer that, um, you know, you, you can look at the objective data and know where you are. You can see where you are in the standings, and you can see where your numbers are and everything else. So... Tonight, notwithstanding, I, I think we've played very good offense. Um, you know, I, I think probably exceeded expectations on the offensive end of the floor. And um, I don't think we've been close to uh, what we need to be defensively uh, to have a chance uh, to get to where we want to go as a team. We just tonight, defensively, we were better. Our guys competed hard, you know. Um, but on a consistent basis, we haven't defended. We talk about it every night, so there's no real different story. You know, for the first 36 games, good offense and bad defense. That's where we are. Yeah, Stan, I was going to say, is it almost uh, especially disappointing that you do get a good defensive effort? You, you hold a team to kind of within the range where you'd like them to be scoring-wise, and you can't get the offensive. And how much of that is just missing a guy like Zion tonight? He helps our offense a little bit, um, you know. He's a pretty good player. Um, uh, but, but look, I mean, we, they were missing a really good player too um, in BAM. JJ, I think, was a big loss for us. He's been shooting the ball so well. And, you know, we were able to get up. We haven't gotten many threes the last two games. We got up 43 threes tonight. Um, yeah, I mean, just frustrating. I mean, you know, we just... We didn't play well enough at the offensive end of the floor, especially in the first half. We just we didn't handle the ball well. It wasn't even just turnovers, and we had so many off-target passes and 
everything else. And certainly you have to credit their defense a little bit, but um, I just, we didn't handle the ball and play solid basketball, uh, especially in that first quarter. And we dug ourselves a big hole. Uh, and just real quick, you know, Griff kind of had some comments uh, on the record for the first time where he basically talked about the young guys when they're not getting minutes from time to time. He said, you know, you have to earn your minutes. That, that's something that he feels is part of this franchise and part of where it is. Do you kind of back up that sentiment? Or are you glad to hear him say that as well, that, you know, you can't you don't just play because you're a first-round pick, but you have to kind of earn it? Well, I'm not surprised by it. I mean, I, I mean, Griff and I talk all the time and Trajan. I mean, you know, we're, we're – you know, we kick things around, but, but we always end up on the same page. So I'm not, I'm not surprised by that. I mean, we've been really happy with, uh, with Billy, and we didn't play him tonight because I thought Jackson was, was so good and so active last night that he deserved a shot to get out there again. Um, you know, uh, we like all three of the guys we have at that position. Um, and I, I really liked Kyra and Nikhil's energy tonight. I thought those guys worked hard, played with energy, tried to do what we wanted. And, uh, you know, we'll see where we go in the, uh, in the second half of the year. Um, but, again, all that aside, I mean, to me, it just all comes down to one thing. Are we going to guard at a decent level or not? If we're not, then things are not going to get better. That's, that's just the, the blunt truth. You know, people may not want to hear it, but – our, seek, our, our, you know, vehicle to get better is to defend. And uh, we made some progress at that end tonight. Um, but we're going to have to uh, continue to do that. Hey, Stan. Uh, it's Andrew uh, from ESPN. Just wanted to ask about Zee real quick. Uh, how close was he playing? Is it just a case of, look, this thing has been bothering him. We just want to give him a little bit of rest in there. I really don't know, Andrew, to be honest, the in-depth. I just know that he was hurting. I know he's had it for a while. I know it was getting worse, and I know he couldn't go tonight. That, that's what I know. As far as anything, how close he was to playing or anything else, I don't, I don't really have any idea.